Hi, I'm Leanne Shea with Aviation Week, and I'm here with Bombardier's Stephen McCullough, and we are in front of the EcoJet. Can you describe the EcoJet? And uh, it just flew recently. What were you testing? Basically, the EcoJet is a it's a research program that we're doing, and it's a research program to really develop the technologies that we believe will be applicable to future generation of aircraft to meet our 2050 commitment uh, on climate change. So the technologies that we're testing are, for example, in this, it's, it's quite clear that you see the blended wing configuration. And, and so the technologies that we're testing here is really novel aerodynamic shapes to be uh, ultra efficient. And the idea is that we've tested this at a smaller scale, the scale that you see behind you. The, the whole intent of that really is it gives us a chance to then go and validate our tools, validate the physics of it all, and to give us good, useful data to actually progress on the larger scale test articles. Were there any surprises during the flights? No, actually the testing went very, very well. One of the things that, that we keep talking about is that it's not just about the article. Part of what we're developing is the people, the processes and the tools. Uh, and so actually it went very, very smoothly. Uh, so smoothly that in fact this scale we've finished testing. Uh, and we're sort of moving up to the next the next scale levels. At the end of the day, this is not uh, part of to meet our commitment. Is some of the technology the maturity level is quite low. So the nice and the beauty about testing something in this scale is that it's low risk. It's uh, very cost optimized, and so we can really explore envelopes much more. So nothing really surprises. In fact, that went very very smoothly. That sounds good. And besides the blended wing body that we see here on this model, what were some of the other technologies that are unique? Well, the EchoJet research uh, program has a multitude of technologies. Not all of the technologies that are under investigation are on this product. Uh, obviously, you know what we do at Bombardier is we integrate propulsion systems, we integrate control systems, we wrap it around our own state-of-the-art aerodynamics and create the best business jets in the world. And so. Aside of this, this program, we're also looking at optimization of systems. We're looking at, at what the industry, because the propulsion industry themselves are on a, a, a great innovative journey. And so we're looking at each of those, uh, what fuel types they'll use, and making sure that that can actually fit in the business aircraft of the future. So, so, so a lot of activity on this. The other thing as well is that the, the tools that are available now, the optimization tools, the tools that actually get to really fantastic shapes like this, that's also a large part of the program. So it's, it's really, it's not just about the end product, it's actually the tools that get and optimize it. We're working with uh, universities, we're working with industry, uh, and now, you know, both domestic and international, and we'll now look at sort of further expanding that partnership. Uh, from a scale point of view, as I say, at this scale, we've pretty learned, we've pretty much learned what we want to actually learn. So now what we'll do is we'll go up, uh, up a scale size, uh, and then we'll start to put in some of the other items that, uh, some of the other innovations that we have to do, and including things like the systems that actually make this operate. Also, we get a chance to start, uh, we've started with this in, in incorporating our, some of our control laws that help the aircraft to actually fly. Again, a larger scale, more representative of what an end product might look like. Uh, we get a chance to, to test more and develop more. So how much larger is the next version going to be? It's going to be like twice that size? I don't Five know, times that size? I, I don't know if, uh, you know, we like to keep some things for the next show. Fair enough but uh, it'll be larger. So stay tuned for the next eBase or you know, the next announcement. Thanks so much for your time. Oh, you're very welcome.